Hi, Chan. Now, what have you done? You brought a currawong, is it? Yes, it's a currawong with, um, I believe it's either got bound feet or some sort of disease in its legs. Right, okay. Um, where did it come from? It came from um, White Bay in Balmain. Balmain, okay. Right here. All right, oh, I'll just have a look at it for you. Okay. Hello, little fella. Hello, little fella. Hi, hi, baby. Okay. All right. I'll we'll just have a look here. I'll just start at the beginning and just we'll say that the eyes, the eyes look good. The nostrils are not blocked. There's no signs of pox. So the next step is you want to bite onto that for me. Thank you very much. We'll slide that down there as a fulcrum. And we'll open the mouth and we'll have a look inside the birdie's mouth. There's no obvious um, thrush or spiroid worms or anything wrong in the roof of the mouth. There's no signs of the magpie pox or anything like that. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Just calm. Yes, baby. Just calm. This is the problem of concern, and this is um, um, a mite infestation with secondary infection. This is um, a very severe chronic mite infection with uh, Stemidocoptes mites, um, scaly mites, that are burrowing into the, uh, the feet. It's a very common problem in currawongs, in young currawongs. It almost certainly reps, represents or indicates the presence of some underlying Im immunosuppressive disease. Um, very severe um, and chronic, but this, if we can keep the bird alive for a month, it should come good. And um, so the idea will be to um, treat the mite infestation and to treat the secondary infection and to relieve the constricting layers of dead skin so that they're not causing gangrene of any more tissue than absolutely necessary. So there are areas here that look as though their parts are dying but I think we'll be able to save this little birdie and return it to quality of life. Just calm. Just calm, 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 that's a baby, that's a baby, that's a baby, calm, calm, very calm, very calm, very calm, 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 just relax, just relax, just relax. Right, I can feel and see creepy crawlies running on me. We won't worry about the birdie for a moment, but I just you might be able to see that this bird has creepy crawlies. Now those are a different mite. They're a blood sucking mite, that one. Uh, red mite, and it's a, another one on my other hand. So we're going to have to spray this birdie fairly quickly. Uh, and I'll do that, but that's got nothing to do with the scaly leg mite. That's a completely different disease altogether. All right, so... First thing I'll do is spray myself and create a, a bit of a barrier around my arms. This product is not registered for this purpose and I don't like putting any pesticides or chemicals on myself. However, you have to weigh the... Right, okay. No mites everywhere. All right. When you catch wild birdies, the first thing you do is spray them get rid of the mites so that I don't have to, you know, I keep being brought mighty birds from other other vets um, I would think that the first thing you do is try and um, get rid of these creepy crawlies, uh, the big ones, the ones you can see. The red mites um, are a major pest if they become established in a in a location and they will run and hide in crevices and um, little folds during the day they don't like 
they don't like the light so they go for dark spots but at night time they wander everywhere and they can run to about 10 meters okay thanks this one.